Nice ascension to a victory. Thank you. You know how it goes. Hey, Daryl G. Tenon, thanks very much for the seven month sub. Mongo Mushu to you as well. Is it true I'm playing Ascension 2 and add in a zero in the streaming software? I'm actually playing Ascension 200. I'm using the streaming software to hide one of the zeros. Give you a little look behind the curtains here. If I turn off the uh, filter that I have on my game to make the zero disappear, it yeah, looks like that. So you, as you can see, this is actually Ascension 200. That's what it looks like on my screen. Why did Megacrit let me have Ascension 200? No. Megacrit doesn't let people have Ascension 200. Ascension 200 must be earned. What's the boss? Oh, I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I find out. Usually it's Guardian when I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting to see how much traffic in and out of the channel there is from, like, how quickly people start asking you to explain a joke you made two minutes ago to your live audience. And then they come in and they weren't in the audience two minutes ago, so they're like, hey, could you, could you, why is that there? I guess it makes sense. It's just, like, it's a unique constraint to streaming where usually if you had a live show there would be an expectation that someone had seen the things that had happened so far you know thanks panko but that's not how it works on streaming sometimes somebody like only just arrived and didn't see what happened a couple of minutes ago That stuff, Spider. Don't fret too much about it. In the cavy. for this fight. Seems pretty, uh, pretty bad. a little bit greedy maybe but I think a lot of the time it stops you from dying I just need to strip that artifact charge so that crippling cloud poison can apply any cratons 
What did Ascension 200 add difficulty wise? Oh, I don't know. I don't experience difficulty. Everything's easy for me. In one of the ascension levels, the devs made it so I had to fight myself. But, like, I'm way better than myself anyway, so it wasn't actually that tough. Just what I needed. Oh, baby. Got ourselves a run. Is our rare? That's unfortunate. I think I sort of have to take deadly poison since I took a bane. Ascension where all the other Jorbs formed Jorbs Tron and I had to fight them. Yeah, but it was really easy. It wasn't assembled very well. I just like pushed it over. generate from fight rewards, but they are more likely to generate the longer it's been since you last saw one. Well, actually the more commons you have generated since you last saw one. So if we get a rare here and then this is the rest of the act, probably 70% of the time this is the only rare that we see from fight rewards or something like that. We have a decent chance of seeing one of this elite fight. I wonder how people cheated at things before the invention of the engine.
You think there were like sheet wagons? Nope, just commons. All right. Oh, we have to upgrade deadly poison. Probably take a backflip so we can draw the poison cards faster. Okay, we got a bag of prep so we can draw the commons really fast. Ascension 20 or vice versa. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Ascension 20 first, right? Maybe. I don't remember exactly. Oh. Got an ornamental fan, right? or own the house I'm in. I'm in a house. That's news. Got ourselves a little malaise. A little bit of a malaise here, I think. Malaise is useful for some of the Act 2 hallway fights, the ones that we were already good at. I guess we have a Crippling Cloud Plus for the ones with like three enemies and shit. Pandas? either fusion hammer or pandas, I don't know. You remember me saying the double third act boss was one of the best changes ever made to the game because now a run that used to be 100% win rate was fighting back. Yeah. I want to get like a really sweet spot with some like green near it and I can have a nice studio to stream in and I can have like another studio and I can have a streamer in residence and my friends can just come hang out for like a week and stream from my place it sounds so idyllic I think I need probably like like what in the Seattle area I mean if we did that in the Seattle area we'd need another like seven million dollars Maybe I should do it somewhere else. <laughs> um, take a fusion hammer. Streamer supporting Airbnb. Oh, I wouldn't charge people for coming and hanging out. Just have friends come chill for a bit. I 
Could make a 50 acre streaming house in Oklahoma for 100k. That's like a significantly lower number. I guess the the tricky thing is finding a place where people would want to come visit. And I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to shit talk Oklahoma here. That just like in general though, there's a tendency for the most like hot tourist destinations to also be very expensive. The Gnowers! Thanks for the sub, Agbomoshu, to you as well. Yeah, Harvest Girl. I wonder if different cults have, like, at the, like, meeting of the, the cult, like, the cult reunions or whatever, where people from different cults go and hang out. I wonder if, like, the ones that can afford land in the greater Los Angeles area, like, Scientology, are, like, treated with a like particular level of esteem and then the ones that are like in i don't know the rural midwest it's like pff. there's like a hierarchy based on where the land you've bought for your compound is i mean cult con yeah exactly uh it's called burning man i think <laughs> sorry uh burning man's great i'm sure um, Burning Man was cancelled this year, yeah, which is a good idea. And it's good to cancel stuff early so that people who, like, have commitments to go there and shit can replan their lives with the knowledge that it's not happening. Gosh, the worst thing is like canceling shit a week before it's meant to happen. It's like, what the fuck are you like? Serious? Do I mean nothing to you? You know, so, yeah. Calculated gamble. We have a crippling cloud plus, and it's like our entire deck. So drawing it faster seems pretty good. Burning Man is sick. I want to go to Burning Man sometime before I die. Seems like a great place to recruit members. Uh, have done this first. Anyone else still have Ticketmaster holding onto their money for postponed shows? That's really shitty. I don't go outside, so not a problem for me, but yeah, that sounds really shitty. Yeah, like they uh, shouldn't be allowed to do that or something. Well, thanks, Fiery Shrimp. I appreciate you letting me know. I think the calculated gamble I played was not calculated. <laughs> I, think I, I think I just clicked on it without calculating it. In retrospect. Burning Man 20 years ago. Yeah. That's, that's like a thing that happens with big cultural events, right? At the moment, they're like big cultural events for a little bit, but if they get big enough, they get commoditized and then like, I don't know, <laughs> they're not, not quite the same anymore. <laughs> The Ascent of Stan, textbook cultural event. Could take a cloak and dagger with a kunai. It's generally okay. The cycle of counterculture. Sure, that sounds like a 
without actually investigating what you're saying, it feels like that could be a way to say, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Intensely believable. Tiamata, how you doing? Was that a Ben Folds reference? Yeah, yeah, it was. I'm gonna do this. Makes me feel lazy because I just leave all your laundry in the hamper after you wash dry them. I don't know this reference. Is it funny? Did I miss it? Did he say a thing on social media or something? I know sometimes people say things on social media. Oh, it's a joke about his name. Oh, I gotcha. So it wasn't. So it wasn't funny. Okay. <clears throat> Look at the advent of online live content. You used to be able to watch people express themselves or have fun. Now it's full of paid streamers. Yeah, awful, right? Terrible. You can watch streamers who aren't making money if you want instead. Plausible. I'm going to risk the recall here. This feels so greedy. Why am I doing this? Oh well. Good enough for this fight. I have the beginnings of a boat. I certainly do. There's definitely a lot of money that floats around at like the top of the streaming industry. Like, I don't know if that was a joke about me getting sponsored for Grifflands or what, but. I have definitely reached a point where businesses with much more money than I have look at me and are like, oh, a legitimate like entertainer who has a bunch of viewers who care what he thinks. Uh, we'll, we'll pay him to check out our game or whatever. Which allows me to make a living doing this, among other things. But then there's like the people who sign contracts for hundreds of millions of dollars <laughs> and it's crazy because those people like that exists in a world that I cannot even begin to fathom but they only run a show for like 10 to 20 times as many people as me it's weird Maybe sometimes a hundred thousand times as many people. Okay, maybe not a hundred thousand, maybe only a hundred, but yeah, it's weird.
Gotta dye my hair blue. Ugh. <laughs> I love that Relic Add Shovel is the last thing that I typed into my console every time <laughs> that I accidentally bring it up. It's like I'm taunting you, isn't it? I have to say some gamer words about people. Ninja's deal was reportedly 30 million. I'm surprised it was that low. Caitlin's going to sleep. Apparently it's dark outside. I'm like very confused. <laughs> Did anybody else see the little graphic about how streaming has completely taken off in the last year and like twitch has 100 percent growth over the last year and youtube gaming has like 70 percent growth and facebook gaming has like 300 percent growth and mixer has like one percent growth <laughs> did anybody see that oh my fucking like i don't understand something <laughs> something went really wrong there <laughs> Zero point two percent, not even one percent. Feels bad. Do streamers get 3x income? You mean like when Twitch um, expands to 3x viewership? Do streamers get 3x income? Is that what you're asking? My income modifier. That is what you're asking. Uh, I guess it depends. I don't know. It's like part of the reason that the streaming sites are blowing up is that lots and lots more people are streaming. When you're looking at the overall amount of money that's coming into streamers, just because that's going up doesn't mean that it's going up for individual streamers. A weird world. Don't know if Mixer understood that a large portion of Ninja's viewers were just there for the largest Fortnite stream rather than his content specifically. It's easy to be like, oh, these people just have hundreds of millions of dollars and they just do stupid shit with it and just assume that that's what's going on, but it's also possible that they were like, well, we want to gain traction in this space because it's obviously going to be huge in 10 years and we need to work out how to spend this money to try to do that even though it's not that likely we can be immediately properly successful or right, whatever. I don't know though. It's hard to hard to imagine being in one of the meetings where someone's like, okay, we have 
300 million dollars and we want to try to make a streaming site that competes with twitch like i just have no no real ability to conceive what gets said in a meeting like that like a fascinating flabbergasting problem to try to be solving the people in that meeting have even less of an idea what needs to be said in the meeting. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very pessimistic take. Yeah, I mean, I, le I legitimately don't know. I do think it's easy to see the stuff that doesn't work and shit on people when, you know, a lot of the stuff they're doing is working and probably even the stuff that doesn't work. Like, somebody was like, well, this might not work, but it's worth a gamble. Stuff like that. I don't know. All those people in those meetings are paying attention to how that deal turns out. Yeah, that seems... That seems probably true. And the ones in that meeting who were, like, paying the money are pro <laughs> probably not that happy about it, right? I don't know. For that kind of money, they should just pay people $100 to use Mixer. Well, they probably did do something like that, right? Somehow. It's like a malaise, I think. Like, probably you get ad-free viewing or something more easily on Mixer than Twitch or something because they're putting startup money into it. I don't, I don't know if this is true, but often something like that would be true. I don't know. I don't know. Why do we keep talking about things that mix ingredients for cakes? Do you think that's the problem? The name? Maybe the name is wrong. But if it was called, like, Live Streamer, Video Game Watcher, something a little bit more clear. Mixers remind you of those god awful college events. Oh my gosh. Or those, like, not sure I ever went. Was there, like. Were there, like, people who were pros at college mixers? And so when they went, they, like, knew what they were trying to get out of it and, and what to do. The idea of being able to go to one of those and, like, enjoy yourself is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. But it must also be something that is possible. I wonder if I'm just, like, missing out. The College Mixer metagame. Yeah, exactly. Twitch, meanwhile, has a very, like, clear and sensible name. Twitch is what happens when you read Twitch chat. <laughs> right? Like... That's pretty... Pretty straightforward.
Can I elaborate on what a college mixer is for us Europeans? It would be like the debate club at the college is looking for people to join and so they host an evening event where you can come and have food for something resembling free maybe and like people from the debate team will be there to talk about what the debate team's like and there will be a bunch of other people with similar interests who might be interested in talking with you or something similar for like a fraternity or um if you're living in a dorm there might be a movie night on your floor in the dorm things like that that's the general idea all right thanks sounds awful yeah <laughs> yeah That is not what movies make it out to be. Well, in fairness, I didn't go to a lot of these, so... I mean, maybe what actually happens is, like, you meet and fall in love with Natalie Portman. That's what happens in the movies of those, right? Jimmy Wolf Gaming, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Longbow Mosho to you as well. Got a lot of free pizza out of companies holding events like that. It's rad. Wolfosaurus, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Monkbomo show to you as well. Hot take of those parties are horrible because I don't participate. Because you don't participate? Because. Because you don't participate. I don't know who you is in that sentence. What happens if you don't meet but still fall in love with Natalie Portman? Unrequited love. In the time of COVID-19. That's rough. I feel for you. I hope you and Natalie can pull through. How long will it take for a publisher or developer to sign a deal with a platform and say you can only stream our game on X platform? I bet there's legal stuff there. I am not a lawyer, but I bet there's legal stuff there. Generally, the entire concept of me streaming someone's video game for an audience on a platform like Twitch is like legally untested which is not to say that it's like illegal because it's like there like aren't really that many laws about it just in any way because it's very new right so yeah i don't know where did the dexterity come from if two infinite blades and a kunai I have energy. Theoretically fair use, but maybe not. Yeah, fair use is um, one of the ones that, like that's a law that was created in a time when media was different, but we still look at it for how you're allowed to do stuff like this. Uh, yeah. And then this is international too, right? So there's like jurisdiction stuff going on. I've actually worked on projects before where they asked me what country I was from because um, like when I was signing my NDA or whatever, they were like, well, if you're from certain countries, we really have no ability to enforce this and don't trust you, so we're not going to work with you. And sort of weird. And probably an international criminal somewhere based on some trade law. I mean... 
that's more for the diamond smuggling than the streaming, I think. But yeah, I, I, I mean, who isn't? <laughs> streaming games is really interesting because for games like Say This Buyer helps promote it, but for narrative games, is watching a stream just a replacement for buying it? Well, another question is, um, maybe people who weren't going to buy it anyway watch it. Are you happy about that as the developer of the game? If you're going to get like a hundred sales either way, but you could also have a thousand people watch it without buying it. Probably that's a win. Do I have to remod Blazar now? <laughs> uh, all right, let's lose our max HP. You would say you have decided to buy more games because of a streamer than you have decided to not buy games because of a streamer. Hmm. We try this. We got decent potions and a corpse explosion. Looks like a good starting hand probably. Are our potions good? They're sort of slow. We're sort of slow. Which one's better? Health drops or fumes or accuracy. Do I have an infinite blades in play? Nope. I think it's accuracy because of the vulnerable. Feels weird. You just finished a book and you were overcome with emotion. It was so good. That's awesome. There are definitely different approaches to giving streamers game keys for games. And also definitely different approaches in terms of, like, sponsoring streamers to play games. Yeah, I guess that's a, it's a tough puzzle for a game developer and publisher to, like, work out right now. with five energy maybe because campfires only heal us it's actually sort of hard to use these wing boots one two three holy shit <laughs> we could do that that's uh <laughs> that would certainly be something Really access everything has changed at all. That's certainly a thing too. What do you think about the approach of Raid Shadow Legends? Uh, the third best mobile game? Something something? Uh, download and play the tutorial? Something? Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
it's managed to become a very polarizing thing, which is impressive considering it's like just a somewhat normal mobile game, I would say. I thought it was okay when I played it, but a lot of my viewers, like, were very upset that I, like, thought it was okay, which was weird for me. I forgot to say free to play. Oh, whoops. It's polarizing because it's mobile trash. Do you have any idea how much mobile trash there is that none of us are talking about right now? There is so much mobile trash that nobody nobody cares about, even in the smallest way. Might be a dash on floor 40 sort of run. With ornamental fan and kunai. And five energy. The five energy matters quite a bit there too. <laughs> That's great trail. <laughs> I mean, you gotta say this for them, right? They didn't chuck a hundred million dollars down on getting Ninja to play the game exclusively. Uh, they, <laughs> probably could have done worse. There used to be good mobile games, Flappy Bird. I feel like it's all been downhill since Flappy Bird. Plants vs. Zombies, very good game. Hmm. Snake, yep. Slay the Spire might be a mobile game soon, right? It's like a thing that's being worked on. XCOM enemy within is on mobile? Huh. Amazing. Pokemon Go was huge. Big Cranky thanks to the two months on Pomusho to you as well. PUBG is on mobile. Mobile devices.
Pokemon Go is the polar opposite of COVID-19. Maybe we need to, uh, like, bring it back. Maybe that's how we beat this thing. Probably. <laughs> Probably not getting everyone outside gathering in places. Yeah, okay, maybe... Maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe... Uh... There aren't any campfires in this half of the act, except for that one. And I mean this one, which we're already going through. Pokemon Go became one of the top earning mobile games without causing a huge loss in earnings to other games. It basically created an entire new audience of people to spend money on games. That's really cool. I think about that quite a lot. There are so many people who like don't play games yet. Or if they do play games, they don't play games in like this space. They play them in a different way. Good. Like a bit of a gamble there. Play games, what are you? Some kind of nerd. I am the best kind of nerd. I'm not just any old nerd. People play video games instead of just watching other people play them? Question mark. I guess that, like, game streaming is one way in which uh, people who didn't used to play a lot of games are now interacting with gaming. Popping tonight. People are very chatty tonight. It's true. Am I playing a game or performing a game? Me? Um, I'm both? Maybe? You can go with both? Is that allowed? Girl on a dating app said she would unplug Slay the Spire if you were playing it around her. So like, when's the wedding? Uh, tell me more. How do you know when you're doomed in Long War II Legend? The missions have gotten rough. Um... If missions are rough right now, and there's no clear reason that that would change, like you're not close to a new tier of tech or something like that, that might be a reasonable time to consider what you've learned in the campaign and get set up for the next one.
I think sweep's probably good enough. I think Raph would have been really good. That's unfortunate. Because the biggest problem I have at the moment, I think, is just not having sustain. I'm resting at every campfire, but it's still not enough. If a boy in a dating app said, I place Lee the Spire, you would husband his ass immediately. What would you do with like the rest of him? Could malaise. I think it's better to look for the other infinite blades for this fight. And get dexterity ticking up really quickly. Because I think we win this fight by like proccing kunai twice a turn a lot of the time and then just blocking. Okay, that's illegal. Uh Hey, <laughs> the golf pro. Holy moly. Thank you very much for the 50 gifted subs out of nowhere. I appreciate that very much. I'm sure it doesn't feel like out of nowhere to you, right? Because you're like, like chilling out, enjoying the channel and stuff. But for me, it's just like, whoa, generosity, support. Boom! Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Everyone gets to enjoy the sub notification for a while because I am stubborn and refuse to do anything about the fact that it goes off over and over and over and over again. But hey, it's a good sub notification. For the golf pro, it was Tuesday. Fuck, that's a reference. Is one of the best references. I think Street Fighter was the first movie in which I thought the villain was like the coolest part of the movie. It was just a very impressive M. Bison. Just a lurker who really enjoys the content. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. How does a gift sub even work? Um, so subbing gives people access to some extra stuff on the channel. You get to watch without seeing ads. Um, you get to use emotes. Maybe a few other things. And gift sub, you can either directly gift a sub to a specific person, in which case they get a sub, or you can gift a bunch of subs, or, well, any number of subs, just sort of to the community, in which case they get given to people based on some thing. And I wish I could tell you what it was. <laughs> it's like... Uh, I think the general idea is that they try to give gift subs to people who... Maybe I won't even try to fathom their exact intent. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll just give up on pretending that I can understand. If I were setting that up as like a person who was like, I am in charge of making Twitch money or whatever, I don't really know exactly how I'd try to prioritize that. You got in subs for people you've barely watched? Yeah. Like, I wonder if they try to give subs to people who have checked out the channel, like, once or twice before, and they want to see if they can get the person to come back again. Maybe? I don't know. I'm, get I'm getting very, like, 
Ooh, a shuriken. Getting very pessimistic about this all of a sudden. <laughs> um, you don't think it's that smart? Don't know. You somehow got a gift sub to someone whose channel you had never been in and who mains a game which you don't watch was a pretty darn big channel too. Maybe someone else is watching that channel on your account while you're like asleep or something. <laughs> um, was that another? That was another 50? Holy moly. We're, uh, we're gathering more data here, I guess. Thank you. Very, very, very much nodded for the 50 gifted subs. Is this 100 total gift subs today? 100 total gift subs in the last five minutes. I don't remember things that happened more than five minutes ago, just as a general rule, unfortunately. I'm trying to work out if I take dodge and roll. It seems okay. I also take storm of steel. I'll try a dodge and roll out. I feel like we're particularly good at killing Reptomancer, unfortunately. Sub notifications will continue playing into Griftlands. I don't think they'll go quite that long. I don't think it will be quite that much. There are definitely a couple of them, though. Have I tried making Reptomancer's health zero? Well, you said her. Do you mean the silent or Reptomancer? I think we're going to try making the silence health zero and see if that works. Sub notifications will continue until morale improves. I'm going to turn the music off on them. Thank you, Zendikarn. For the Twitch Prime, I appreciate it. Do I prefer bleed or combo on Sal? Um, I think the run I won with Sal, I just like went infinite every fight and also had a relic that applied wounds to enemies whenever I discarded a card and would like discard 20 cards a turn or something. Maybe it's friendly thanks to the Twitch Prime. I'll go show to you as well. When in this seed does Silent get Searing Blow? Um, the Searing Blow is so powerful that you want me to have it on a silent run where I have two infinite blades, a shuriken, and a kunai. That is, that is some impressive power. We should get, um, get Searing Blow signed to our new, uh, streaming site. A hundred million dollars. Hovering Kite still a boss relic. It's been changed in the last like year, but it is still a boss relic for Silent. We use an algorithm to help us select gift recipients starting with eligible viewers in chat, then followers, mods, and other factors that identify members of a community. 
Our algorithm also avoids giving troll subs, and we are constantly improving our algorithm to detect this behavior. We can detect trolls. Do you think? Do you think my channel is flagged as a troll channel? Also, what do you think eligible viewers are? Is that like an eligible bachelor? Any eligible viewers in chat right now? Looking to mingle, maybe? Ornithopter seems nice. I used to have a thing on my channel where... So I custom built a channel bot in Java. It's an extension of a perk bot if you're a person who cares about that for some reason. Um... And it played a little video every time someone followed. This was when the channel was like small enough that there weren't enough people following for that to be distracting at all. And I'd like thank people for following and stuff. My app TV thanks for the six months. I'm going to show to you as well. The thing was, in order to have it not play a video if someone unfollowed and then refollowed again, I would have had to like do some amount of coding work and I wasn't really interested in that. And so it would also play the video if you unfollowed and then refollowed again. And then people would just do that like all stream because my community is toxic and terrible. Um, and always has been, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and I always, I always wondered if there was anyone at Twitch like looking at the number of unfollows that a channel got to like monitor for uh, like someone who was saying super like unacceptable stuff or something like I don't know like someone says something that's hugely inappropriate and a bunch of people unfollow and then like Twitch gets like an alert thousand people unfollowed this channel today and then like my stream would have just been like at the top a thousand people unfollowed this channel today uh, specifically three of them 300 times each the boot I still have Zephyr yeah I still have Zephyr crazy thanks so much for gifting that sub. You would need advanced stats for unique follows. Yeah, the way I was going to solve it was just to keep a list of people who followed and check if the name was already on the list. I think I might have actually done that eventually. Eventually. Definitely not straight away. Neat Raidshire. Thanks very much for the six months. I'm going to show to you too. just got even more interesting. A weird turn. Oh, we made it through. Okay, in the end. We need more sustain. Let's take four elites in a row. Well, one, elites can drop sustain, so I will note that. Uh, <laughs> although your general point <laughs> that uh, they can kill you as well, I assume is what you're getting at, is valid. But also, too, like the main reason we needed more sustain was just to fight more elites here. Uh, 
We're not fighting elites. So we don't really need the sustain. Did I implement a hash lookup to avoid searching through a list of names? I have no idea. Maybe. This time in my life was a long time ago. All a blur. to choose to leave the elite fights after every encounter. Yeah, that's a nice thing about this path with wing boots is if one of the fights goes really poorly, we get to get out of it. Although, um, there's no, like, campfire to jump to. So if we go to one out of 61 health here, it probably kills the run. Regal pillow. That is also sustain. There you go. There's a followed at value in the Twitch API. Maybe I looked at that, I have no idea. The API may have changed since I was looking at it too. Did I learn to code when I was studying game design? I had a couple of quarters of computer science as like an elective when I went back to university looking at a master's in stats. I'm not sure it was... I think it was like required for my undergraduate degree, which I have actually never finished getting. Well, not required, but like it was a, a way to get credits that I needed still. Was it fun? Uh... Sure. We'll say sure. Why don't I go for undergrad? I went to the University of Washington. I wasn't deflect the pick there. We got five energy. Sure, how they made it so much worse, but you need so many more calls to get the same info now. Rip. And you all are the victims of that change because now the bot doesn't work as well. I hope that you are justifiably incensed. the boot do something there? Way to go, the boot. We only just picked it up, too, and already. Just like that. Wow. It's heartwarming to see. and pay four energy for Masterful Stab there.
I think this is good. I think we leave this limed. Fight probably ends before we draw it again anyway. Same idea with... well... Hmm. Yeah, I think we do this. Strength, 10 dexterity, can't block for 42. To save my life. Feels bad. Dash is doubled, yeah, it's true. We're adding a dash to uh, our dash. Boot value, again. Actually gets us the kill there while we're being attacked for 24 times three. Just wanna, you know, just wanna call out the boot. I did a good thing, uh, did a pretty good thing. Twice in one fight. <laughs> Hard to believe. Hmm. I like this one, I think. And this one. And then we try to kill these two. And the awakened one is uh not that scary, hopefully. More like a weakened one. <laughs> you have a corpse explosion I can draw. Or I could not draw it, you know. You can go either way. This time. to leave over an hour ago, but you needed to see the run. People glued to their seats here. Can I sure can let you do degenerate things? Yeah, unfortunately not really until like turn five. So with only 61 health and like we didn't manage to get a Tori or a fossilized helix or an incense burner out of those elites we fought. There's a substantial chance we just sort of die. Act 4 elites just to kill us, heart just kills us, stuff like that. But we'll get some gold for the last store. Maybe we can find something. You have a meeting you haven't prepared for in 14 minutes. <sighs> Maybe it's time to talk about personal responsibility, Twitch chat. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. 
What's that? You have a 200 word essay due tomorrow and you haven't even started. How are you gonna know that you have the right number of words? Like, you're gonna need that long just to count them, aren't you? Where'd all the upgraded cards come from? Just card rewards. Try to put incense burner on... There's an argument for putting it at like four, but I'll put it at nine. Maybe it's 200 very long words. <laughs> How do hyphens work in that situation? You know what I'm saying? It gives us a dexterity and a strength and deals a bunch of damage and... <sighs> Prox ornamental fan. But I can't card remove if I buy it. I could go card remove and upgrade potion instead. Oh yeah, I also used upgrade potion in that Awakened One fight, I think. That might be the actual answer to the question of where the upgraded cards came from. This is the start of your Twitter PhD. One out of 237. It's only 237? Wow, they really go easy on people these days. Power? Wraith form seems pretty good here. Might have been better against the heart though. Shit. Accuracy, Pepe hands. Um, accuracy would make the boot stop working. I'm sort of surprised and insulted that you would recommend that. You have a trilogy due tomorrow for your literature arts class. All you have so far is a blatant Harry Potter ripoff. Please help. There you go. That's more like it. Where'd all my strength go? Oh. Awkward. We'll draw it again. How long does it really take to write like a grand fantasy trilogy? Like a weekend? or so. Yeah, that sounds right to me.
Yikes. So this is the this is the moment where we die, it looks like. Maybe I should have done a backflip before Crippling Cloud. Taken accuracy, none of this would have been happening. Would have been dead already. True. Somehow to not play Corpse Explosion yet. Which I think is an accomplishment. can try. Bottled malaise is somewhat helpful here. I wonder what I want to do that. I wonder what I want to upgrade. Maybe just some of these cards? I'm not sure which ones. Malays for two, right? Ooh. It's either good or not good. Are a calcum this turn, which means I'm putting myself at like four or whatever. I'll play piercing whale though, so it won't be quite that much, quite that low. We gotta get shivs going as much as possible. Hmm, that's interesting.
guess no arc alchem. Draw this crap. When the sapper thinks the two months, I'm going to show to you as well. I have one defend in my hand. Yeah, it's close. We'll see. I have four dexterity. It doesn't seem like that much dexterity. This turn seems like a problem. I have a piercing whale, in theory. But we need some, uh, some help first. That ain't it. GG. Bit slow. Bit too slow. 